Hi, I'm Matt from HockeyReviews.ca and this is the Bauer Vapor 2X Pro blocker initial review kind of overview. Um, so we'll compare this to the 1X uh, of its previous version as well as the Supreme 1S. The 2S is very similar to this so it'll be kind of a comparison with that too. Um, but anyways, so the Vapor 2X Pro is very new for this generation, well, this generation. Um, it's a huge departure from the more traditional uh, 1X, as you can see, no more binding. The sideboard is totally different. It's also, when we flip it over, a much thinner profile blocker board. So this was kind of the old JRZ design. This is more Bauer's own design, and it does differentiate itself a little bit from the 2S as well, but we'll get into that in the future. Um, right now, we'll go over some features of this. So you have your core, your curved face, very hard face all throughout. Very impressed with it. Um, the graphics, as you can see, is just like the pad, you have your dimples right here and your graphics right there. The nice thing about this version of Bowers pads is they are in different sections, so you can get different colors through them. Uh, mine won't be white. These are just as a ver uh, sorry, obviously the blank version of Storgot. So mine will be colored up. Um, as you can see, the 2X Pro logo on the side, uh, the Vapor logo at the bottom right there. The sideboard is totally different. Um, so first, yeah, let's go over the features first and then we'll kind of get to the comparison. So the sideboard is very stiff and it is, which I'm a huge fan of, so it doesn't move a ton. It feels like there's curve in there. It's either very hard foam or curve itself. Um, I'm a huge fan of that. It allows you to really lock up with your kind of with your body and the pucks won't really squeeze through. Um, also the thinner profile just I find makes everything kind of fit nicer. Like when you're trying to squeeze and everything like that and the balance of it is great. Extremely lightweight blocker. So, um, so when we go on the outside, you can kind of see this is where the new idea is where this is now angled and thinned out compared to the older ones and compared to the Supreme itself. Um, this piece is kind of like the only carryover from the original Vapor and it has your air light over there, which is a slightly different design, but I love this material for padding and for comfort. It's a great design, a great material. It's very padded, very protective, very nice. Uh, fingers are pretty similar to the 2S. Hopefully it's on camera, sorry. Fingers are pretty similar to the 2S. Um, you got your nice, really good finger tip protection right there. It's covering all right there, very nice. Close your glove on that. Very little issues will come of that. Nice coverage right there as well. I'm a huge fan of Bauer blockers. Um, that's a very nice, like I'm happy this is continuing. They're really good on it. Very nice open cuff. You have what it feels like 37.5 material on it, but it doesn't say it anymore. Um, like right here, it's called thermo thermo core. I'm not sure if this is 37.5 or not, but it feels similar to the older one and you have kind of your wear areas where your, um, shoulder pads, the kind of elastics might touch it's their sorry, abrasion zone, as you can see right there. The padding on this glove is a quattro, but it's more of a normal color. It's kind of a Nash. Unbelievably comfortable. This thing is so soft. Nice padding in there. I can't wait to get this. I have a feeling this will be my favorite blocker going forward. I love that material. Very comfortable. You can see the curve logo there. A lot, a big curve logo. Um, so they're really showing it off here. Again, open cuff. You can see more of the palm right here. Very comfortable, soft quattro palm. Feels unbelievable to touch. Um, and I say it's Quattro, but I don't see it actually listed anywhere. I swore I saw it listed somewhere. So hopefully it is Quattro and I'm not just lying about that. Um, you got a bit of a thumb pillow here for added protection as well as a really nice thumb piece of protection right there. Uh, you got, and you got your, your kind of your curve of the blocker. I had someone ask me what the point of that was for and I couldn't really give them an answer, but then I remembered that it helps deflect pucks away from the net. So if you get hit there, it will bounce it off instead of kind of possibly ramping into your net itself. Uh, but anyways, that is pretty much it for the features. One thing I'm kind of disappointed on is I wish there was, so this one doesn't have pour on label anywhere. Um, I was told this one does right here. I was told that these have pour on right here. It's just not labeled. I wish it was thicker and you could actually notice it because it, to me, it just feels like foams. It doesn't feel like a smart foam, like pour on. Um, even this one though, to be totally honest, doesn't really feel like a smart foam or pour on. But I wish it was a little bit thicker in there. You never, you're rarely getting hit on the fingers. I mean, I get hit in the fingers, but it's not like it's really painful or anything like that. So it's not a huge issue. It's just a little bit more comfort or protection would have been uh, just a little bit nice. 
but that's a minor, minor nitpick. Um, so one thing I do really like as well, and I'm, I kind of talked about fingertip. This index finger is very similar to the previous Vapors and the Supreme. Uh, I'm a fan of that. I've never had issues with Bauer gloves in terms of protection here. So I'm really happy that that's continuing. Um, you should be able to close that really good on your stick. And usually that kind of lays on the stick like that. So it really close as well. Um, so that is about it. A rebound from this should be super hot with the curve. I love Bauer blockers because of that. My reasoning uh, for like big rebounds is one, you can punch them away very far, but two, if you don't have the opportunity to actually punch the, the puck away, if it just deflects. So if you're in tight and you're kind of just deflecting it, the deflection will, with a harder, like hotter face blocker will push it out further. And my kind of idea behind it is even if it doesn't go out that far, it's because it's coming off hotter, it's harder for the opponents to handle. So I'm a huge fan of that. So now we will compare these two gloves to each other. And as you can see, they are totally different. Besides the obvious, the different face design, um, where the dimples are and kind of the yeah, idea with that. We look at the sideboard and these are two totally different gloves. Um, the board on the Vape, the One X is very traditional. It's a thick board. It's the JRZ era. Uh, JRZ still makes a blocker like this. I like the blocker. Um, I just think that I think I'm gonna like the 2X Pro a little more. Sideboard, it's kind of a similar design if you really look at it, like in terms of the shape but it's flattened out all into one piece, um, which will give a bit more stiffness as well and we'll kind of angle onto that. And the thumb is a little bit more angled now compared to the flatter one on the Vapor, uh, sorry, the One X. So we'll see how that ends up when, actual, when I actually use this in gameplay. Um, so the other, I guess we'll kind of look here, index finger stuff was all pretty good, or pretty similar if not identical. As you can see, I'll flip it over again. Here's where you can really see the difference in the actual boards where this one's all angled off and this one's totally like much thicker and everything. Um, so interesting design there. Definitely save weight this way. Again, we'll see how this plays. It's super thin down here compared to the, the uh, Vapor. But I'm assuming Bauer knows what they're doing because they were doing it on the Supreme as well. Um, so then let's look at, so this here is the kind of the carryover part is this one piece right here. Again, Aerolite on the outside basically the same piece, slightly different, very similar. And we'll go on the inside here. And again, you had thick padding on both. This one feels a little more plush. This one is also older, very similar cuff design curve, much more noticeable right here. And the board is shaped fairly similarly. This still has a, a pretty similar finger um, location as well. You can see how the fingers kind of extend, kind of past the board. So hopefully this is showing up. So this is kind of a mid uh, finger position. So your hands kind of down here and your fingertips come out past the end there where Supreme is more like up a little bit more, not a ton of difference on Supreme, but I find you can notice this more on Vaughn gloves and like CCM gloves. Um, but I definitely notice when I'm playing with the Vapor and the, and the Supreme glove, that hand position does feel a little bit different. So that is it for uh, the Vapor, I'll do another really short, quick video for the Supreme, just because the name will be confusing. Um, so hopefully that was very, hopefully that was informative. Hopefully it can answer some questions. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I will not have this glove after this video. I have to return it until I get my actual set where I'll do a full review on and actually use usage review and everything like that. Um, but I wanted to get this video out there just to kind of show off some differences and things like that. Um, so yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. I'll try to answer them the best I can. Remember to like this video, um, subscribe to me on YouTube, follow me on Twitter, Instagram. All that really helps me get gear kind of like this so I can do videos on and hopefully get it early so um, it can kind of be out there and people can get some information on it. Um, so yeah, and the catching glove video comparison and kind of unboxing of the 2X and 1X will be linked in the description as well as the comparison of this and the Supreme as well as the video on the pads. I think there's like two of them. So check all of those out if you're interested in this the new Bauer gear. I certainly am and that's why I'm doing these videos. So anyways, thank you very much for watching and take it easy.